Hi everyone, Letty here. Today I'm going to share with you a not too shabby shop. This is a design team project share. We're going to make some easy Halloween cards using a fall stamp. Welcome everyone. So I am on the design team for the not too shabby shop. Here is their logo. I will link their website link and a discount code down the description box below in case you're interested. I'm going to be using several products from not too shabby today. One of the main items is this pumpkin spice season stamp set. It is a not too shabby exclusive, meaning it can only be found in the not too shabby shop um, and it is still available. So today's project, we're going to make some easy Halloween cards using this stamp set. You've got this coffee cup, some fun pumpkins. Um, this is a, such a versatile stamp and I'm going to show you with today's project that you can use this for outside of fall projects. Um, we're going to make some Halloween cards, very, very easy ones. So I did bring in the uh, recent Halloween uh, bundle or Halloween released from Not Too Shabby Shop. Um, this was the one of the stamp sets that they had. They also had an ephemera and a paper pad. Unfortunately, this set is no longer available. It did sell out fast. One of the things that you'll find with Not Too Shabby is that her items are hot. They sell quick. They sell out very quick. So if you like something, you, you really should jump on it and get it. These are the two items. Items I'll be using today the paper pad that stamp set and then of course our fall uh, stamp set as well I did bring in the glow-in-the-dark stars by this calls for confetti so you can see here what they look like they're super fun and they do glow in the dark they are super super fun um, and then I also brought in some Trinity stamps little clay sequins um, it's called fright flight embellishment mix Th both of those items are available in the not too shabby shop right now I believe I also brought in some barely art wet glue I did use glossy accents this is one of my staples right now I have a link down below for that as well as for my jewel picker um, and so these are the fun easy Halloween cards we're gonna make today and by looking at these you would not even think that I used used a fall stamp for this. You can see here, I did bring in this little uh, fall like coffee cup. I turned it into like a little Halloween frappuccino. I did add some glossy accents with some of those little sequins mix at the top. I added some stars to it. I did use the stamp sentiment. And then I added a fun little face to this pumpkin. That's a little hack. If you do have a stamp set that has pumpkins, kind of like this fall stamp set right here, um, you can always just add a little pumpkin face to it and make it basically perfect for a Halloween card or Halloween project. So here are two of the cards that I made. This is one of my favorite layouts. I will link all of the dimensions down or I'll list them down in the description box below for you in case you'd like to make this card too. And again, I'm using the pumpkin spice season stamp set from Not Too Shabby, which is still available. So I've got all of my items ready to go. Um, the large mat is four inches by five and a quarter. I'm also using an A2 size card base. I've got my little smaller mats, which are one and three quarters wide by two and three eighths high. Um, I have, you're gonna need four of those to make the panels almost like a window pane on your card mat. And then I also have my stamp sentiment already stamped out on a circle. This one is about two and a half to three inches wide. I've got two of my stamped images colored, fussy cut, and glossy accent uh, accented as well, ready to go. Um, and so, and then I have three little stars from that confetti, or the this calls for confetti mix that I'll be using for this as well. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some glue to my large mat, which is the holographic cardstock from Joann's, and I'm going to add that to the front of my card. I really like holographic cardstock for Halloween cards. I think it just makes it so fun, um, and so. I really like the whimsiness of it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and lay out my four panels on the front and then go ahead and start gluing them down one at a time. Um, and you are gonna to wanna to leave a one eighth border all the way around um, your mats and your sides and the bottoms of these little mats on your cardstock front. Um, this will make basically a perfect window mat for the front of your card. And these are so, so easy, but I do find that it's easiest if you glue one at a time and basically just go either clockwise or counterclockwise when you're gluing them. So here is what our final card front will look like before the decorations. Now I'm gonna go ahead and glue down my circle uh, that has my sentiment, no tricks, just treats. Um, again, that came from that Halloween release from the Not Too Shabby Shop. Um, it is unfortunately not available anymore, but again, it was such a fun set, so definitely keep an eye out for those when they do come out. I'm gonna go ahead and glue down my two stamped embellishments, which are my stamped coffee cup that I've ha Halloweenified, as well as my little jack-o'-lantern pumpkin from both of the, the items from the stamp set. So here is what my card will look like. I am gonna add my final three little stars. I'm gonna add two in the middle, one on the side. So I'm just 
using my Barely Art wet glue and my Jill Picker to add these down. And here is our finished card. Super easy. This comes together so quick and easy. I love this uh, sketch and this, this fall uh, stamp set, which is called Pumpkin Spice Season, is such a versatile stamp set. In my first project that I did with this stamp set uh, last week, I made some fall gift card holders. I'll link that video at the end. And again, this is called Pumpkin Spice Season. It is still available in the Not Too Shabby Shop. I'll list a link and a website code down the description box below. I also brought in the little sequins and the, this calls for confetti. I believe both are still available in the shop. And then I brought in some additional Halloween items. Uh, again, the star of the show here was this Pumpkin Spice Season stamp set, which again is from the Not Too Shabby Shop. I'll link. I'll link the website link and a discount code down the description box below in case you're interested. I hope this has inspired you to take out those fall stamps and make some fun Halloween cards. Thanks for visiting everyone. Hope you subscribe, like this video, follow us on Instagram. Here are a couple videos I think you might enjoy and happy crafting.